Hi everybody, my name is Claire Fountain at CB Quality. I'm a yoga teacher, therapist, and a long time weightlifter. For today's workout, we're gonna be in our homes or your apartments or wherever you live. So your options are to be barefoot or you could wear socks. I don't really like to wear shoes in my house. However, if you wanna wear sneakers, totally up to you. I'm also going to use some bands. We're gonna use a mat and then I'll also give you an option to use outside. So before we get started, I want to take some of my Amino Lean from RSP Nutrition. It gives me energy without the jitters. I usually take like, I'd say one to three scoops. All right, so for today's workout, as I was mentioning, you can do it in the comfort of your own home. I'm gonna give options for jump squats because I know some people don't wanna jump in their places if you have neighbors. However, if you wanna jump, you can jump. The only other things that I would suggest could be helpful when you're at home. You don't actually even need weights. If you have them, great. You can incorporate them into some of the movements, but bands are gonna be super helpful. They'll add resistance and yeah, they'll just make the workout a little more intense. So we're gonna start with a warm up, and I teach yoga. So a lot of the stuff I do is gonna be yoga inspired. So it's gonna be a little bit more on the mobility side. However, that doesn't mean it's any less challenging. So start with the warm up. We're moving into our first set of exercises. A bit of a lower body focus with a lot of core work. We'll do our first set of exercises and then we'll do our second set of exercises. And then we'll probably do a few little stretches at the end. So you're more than welcome to run through the sets of exercises as many times as you would like. However, I think three exercises, do them all three to even five times through would be plenty for a workout. So let's begin. First warm up is going to be simple walkouts. So we're just walking out, length of the mat. If you'd like to do a push up here, you can. Walking all the way back, nice stretch in the hamstrings coming up. Arms up is optional. Now we're gonna do 10 of these for the first warm up set. into our second part of the warm up, I'm gonna do a glute bridge. We sit all day and sometimes our glutes decide they wanna to go to sleep, so it's important that we warm them up. So coming into a glute bridge, laying all the way back, heels are planted, pressing through the heels, coming up. And I've added a band, however, you do not have to use one. With glute bridges, I'm not gonna give you a number of reps to do, especially since you're at home. You can do as many until you start to really feel them and work on that mind-muscle connection. So maybe that's 10 reps, maybe it's 50. If you don't have any weight, you might wanna do a little higher of a rep set. So after you've done those two options with your warm-up, here's one more that I like to add to my warm-up as well. Fire hydrants, so you're gonna be on all fours, wrist underneath your shoulders, and the leg is simply going to come out to the side. Right, so now that we've done our warm up, we'll start the workout. Just like when I'm at the gym, I want to pick a big lift. However, we're not lifting heavy today, we're at home. So we're going to take a squat and I'm going to give you a bunch of variations. Here we go. You can just do regular squats with body weight. We can also move into jump squats, where we're jumping. You can pulse. Or you can add a band. If you are gonna use a band, you wanna put the band right above your knees, not on your knee. Same idea. So the second exercise after all your jump squats are squats, are banded squats. Again, you get to decide whatever kind of squat variation you would like to do. You can also do as many of those as you would like to do. Anywhere from 10 to even 20 reps could be worthwhile. The second exercise is gonna be glute bridges. We're gonna do them together, single legs, and then finish with some together. Same way as the warm up. Thank you. 
pauses at the top are optional. And then moving into single leg blue bridges. I would do 10 on each side. And finishing with 10 together. All right, so now you've done your squat variation, your glute bridges, and now we're going to end the third exercise of that set is going to be a plank up and down. So you're going to walk out into a high plank position, coming down on the elbow, down on the elbow, up and up. In total are 10 on each side. Okay, so we've done our first set of exercises and we're moving on to our second. As I was saying, I like to do things that are similar to what I would do at the gym. Squats, deadlifts. So now we're gonna move to our deadlift-ish set. This is gonna be a hinge. Now, a lot of people will buy these smaller bands that I was using earlier. However, a band like this is going to give you a different option of something that you can do at home that's similar to a deadlift, similar to a good morning, but that's not gonna require you to have weights. So the band's behind the neck, middle of the feet, back is nice and flat, leaning on the heels, core is tight, and then you're gonna come up and press the hips forward. Don't hyperextend them, just straight up. If you don't have a band, you could use any type of weight, holding it in between your hands, coming up, or you could just do the hinging motion and squeezing at the top. All right, so for the second exercise in that set, we're going to do a lunge type of variation. Since I'm inside, I'm going to do reverse lunges. However, if I was outside, if I had a lot more space, I would probably do walking lunges. So lunge, we're gonna step back and come up. You can do these all on one side, or you can alternate. Or if that's still not enough for you, you can do a lunge jump. Each side. Just like our first set of exercises, we're going to end this one with another plank variation. I'm going to give you two ways to do this. The first one is going to be a regular plank, those bringing our knees in to opposite sides. And the other variation is gonna be a little more yoga-like, where it's a downward facing dog with an extended leg, really pulling that knee into your opposite elbow. A bit more of a challenge, however I think we can do it. So our first option, plank, pulling the knees in. So you're in an exhale, knee comes towards the opposite elbow. And if that's too much, bringing the knee straight in. Little pause. So for our second variation that I like a little bit better, and if you're familiar with yoga, it won't seem that far into you. Downward facing dog, extending one of the legs nice and high, Moving forward, shoulders are above the wrist. Exhale, knee comes all the way through. Inhale up, and exhale through. Both sides, inhaling the leg up. Exhaling through, body comes forward. Inhaling up. All right, so that's the workout. To recap, we had two exercises in the warm up. You could do them two times through. We had a set of exercises at the beginning with our squat focus. 
We had our second set of exercises with our hinge, our deadlift focus, and now we're gonna do some stretching, which might be the most important part. This is a simple run through, just gonna stretch your legs out a little bit. You can do this any time of day, and especially right after your workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is come into a low lunge position. If this is too much for your back knee, you can flip your mat or put a pillow underneath your knee. Tucking the tailbone under slightly, really stretching into the front of your right leg. From there, we're gonna find the front heel. Drop your left hip down, start to lean out, nose over the toes. This is a hamstring stretch. This might be a lot for your hamstrings. And if it's not enough, put your hand on your foot. From there, we're gonna come forward, bring the hand inside of the foot. We're gonna just take the left arm up. However, I prefer to lift the back knee, back leg is straight. Left arm extends up, twisting from your rib cage, looking up past your fingers. And then exhale, drop the hand down. Walk the feet and the hand back. Coming to the other side, same idea, low lunge. Front ankles right underneath the knee. Coming to the front heel, right hip down. Grab the foot if you need to. If this is too deep, you can always hold onto a chair, your sofa. And then coming forward, same idea, left hand inside of the right foot, curl the back toes under, back leg is straight, right arm lifts straight up, looking up towards the fingertips. Drop the hands down. Find your way into any comfortable seated position. Hmm. A little slight fold from the hips. Feet are flexed. Trying not to round your spine here, so keeping your chest up. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Knees come out to the sides. Finding a comfortable seated position. Shake the arms out. Right arm over the left. Hug the shoulders. Same idea, left arm over the right. <sighs> Big inhale, arms overhead. <sighs> and now that we've finished our workout, I really like to have a shake after I work out. So I prefer the Isolin whey protein. This is a super clean whey protein, easy to digest. You can mix it with just water, almond milk, milk if that's what you're into. You can put it in a smoothie. It also has amino acids, which help with recovery and repair. It's just a really nice protein to have after you work out. So follow me at CB Quality if you'd like to see more yoga, mental health, workouts, or just wellness tips in general.